if the Tampa Bay Lightning wins tonight, if they win tonight, that would mean the end of the building that opened up on Long Island in 1972. The great Nassau Coliseum, and I say great as a heavy lift uh, because I'm from the city of New York and I despised the Islanders. <laughs> um, but that building has a lot of history in it. And the history of the Islanders um, winning four straight Stanley Cups, one of the most memorable phrases, I think, in sports Um that was right there in front of me every single day. And as a Ranger fan, I hated it. The drive for five. They won four straight Stanley Cups. And the drive for five, Mike Bossy. I will give him I will give him their props. Again, I again I was a Ranger fan with rooting for Barry Beck to shoot the damn puck and try and win for the first time in my lifetime and in the lifetime of so many people in the city of New York at that time. And then to see the Islanders win four in a row with Pot Van and Bossy and Billy Smith in the, between the pipes. He was a mean cur, <laughs> man. And, uh, but he was, he was incredible. Bobby Nystrom. Oh, my gosh. Al Arbor on the bench. And that building out in Nassau Coliseum, um, it can be closed up tonight and some of the memories, but of course, if they win, uh, they move on, um, and face the Canadians who, by the way, before the Islanders won four in a row, Montreal won four in a row. I'm so I'm looking at Stanley Cup champions right now from 1976 to 1988. Yeah, it was the Islanders, the Canadians. Three and the, teams and won the, the championships. Right, the Edmonton Oilers ended the drive for five. Yeah. And the Islanders so the won Cana- four in a row yeah. after the Canadians the won Canadians four in a row. The Canadians won four in a row. Yep. The Islanders won four in a row. The Oilers went back to back. The Canadians won in 86, and then the Oilers went 87, 88. Uh, yeah, man. Three teams in 12 seasons. And if the Islanders win, they, they would host game one of the Stanley Cup final on Monday against Montreal which, as we know here in Los Angeles, has not been back after they beat the Los Angeles Kings and checking Marty McSorley's stick. So um, my, however, history with Nassau Coliseum, February 25th, 1985. Were you born yet, Chris? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm born in 80. Okay, so you were, you were five years of age. Five years. I was a junior in high school. Okay. And the number of my friends that made fun of me because my favorite band was Chicago. <laughs> uh, I wore out Chicago's greatest hits on uh, cassette tape. Wore it out. I just listened to it over and over and over again. You let your tape rock to your tape pop? But when I was in high school, Chicago became more of a soft rock band. You know, that was when Pete Cetera was singing songs about the glory of love and stuff like that, <laughs> right? Man. And, um, you know, you're a hard habit to break. And I was into that, too. Addicted to you, baby. And Chicago was on tour. And I don't know how my memory gets fuzzy, but (laughs) I don't remember who else was with us. But there was a, a classmate of mine who I was, what's the word for it, into. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I remember her name. Should okay. I say it here on Rich Eisen Show? Well, Should I do it? Dangerous. Why is it dangerous? My wife's on a plane. Oh. Go so, yeah, there you <laughs> go. Right, go for it. Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's also, we were just, I'm a happily married man. We were just you know. making sure, Rich. We were just making just, sure. This is high school. Looking What's the matter you. with you guys? Her name was Kristen Osdahl. I don't know where she is today. How do we spell her Google last name? Google alert. <laughs> I don't know where she is today, but she was also about to find out. She was also into Chicago. Find out. I think I asked her to the concert. There were other people. I'm sure there were other people. Uh, you know, at the concert. Sadly, yeah. sadly there is no way to uh, confirm it independently because the person who who drove us there, may he rest in peace, was my dad. Oh, okay. And this was a time where I mean, Long Island to get to Long Island from Staten Island, you had to leave early. 
and you were going to get home late. And this is also <laughs> way before. This is payphone era. This is when I was calling sports phone to find out the scores. Yeah. Did you need a passport to get there? Too? <laughs> <laughs> Crossing county lines, <laughs> you know. And um, my dad. So we he dropped he we drove and he dropped us off. And God bless him. He drove around the vicinity of uh, of Long Island, Nassau Coliseum. And just what time do you think the concert's going to end? I'll pick you up right here. Because you can't call a cell phone, you yeah, know? Yeah, It's just like he was going to be at this spot, and I don't know how long the concert was going to be. Oh Especially since I didn't know the opening act was a comedian. What? Yes. There was no warm-up band. It was a comic. Who Inside, was it? Na- I don't, that I do not remember oh, either. Oh, man. Inside Nassau Coliseum. In 80. 80- 1985, wow. February 25th, 1985. Yeah, it's my son's birthday. Yeah. Who knew? I was two months old. And uh, <laughs> you were two months? Yep. And uh, my chances with Kristen lasted two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't feeling the power of she, love. She, was a, she was a hard <laughs> habit to break. I had another question there, but I... <laughs> we'll, we'll save that for the break. <laughs> Yep. Wow. What was your first concert? Do you remember? I do remember. Not, not a big concert person growing up. Uh, the New York State Fair in September of 1999. Right. I saw 98 Degrees. 98 open, Degrees. Opening act, Britney Spears. Wow. Nice. She's in the news these days. She's in the news. How about you, TJ? Do you remember your first concert? You know, I, I don't really remember the first concert. Because like Brockman, I'm not a, I love concerts, but somehow I... I'd never know they're going on until the day after. Yeah. But I remember maybe the best concert I ever saw, and this might shock you, was 92, 94, somewhere along there. I worked at Three River Stadium. Three at, River Stadium. Yeah. I, right by I, the confluence. Yes. I got, a, I got a security job for the Pirates that summer, so we got to work concerts. And I got to see Guns N' Roses and Metallica. Whoa. Oh, and wow. By it, the way, it was, Manganello could have been there. In he Three could have been there. <laughs> that sounds and, like that sounds like right up his yeah. alley. And Faith No More opened, and it might it might have been the great. I was I was in awe, and I'm supposed to be working, but I'm like you know 17, 18. I'm just watching Guns N' Roses and Metallica, the greatest concert I've ever seen. Wow. Shocker, I know. But hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.